Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to the Curious Expedition. We are playing as Rold Amundsen. We successfully finished our first expedition ever, which was somewhere in South America. I can't remember where, in the Drylands. Uh, we now have the option to go to a couple of different places, but as we are an Arctic explorer, of course we are going to the sad Arctic. A golden period can be found in this region. It looks like we're always looking for golden pyramids. What is this? What are all these... Things. One, 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 one. Are these all the things you can find there? Two, one, two, one. Looks like one uh, igloo village, two temple things, one other kind of temple thing, two villages. Something like that. We're definitely going here, though. And we're going to start the expedition. We are still... So it looks like um, our rivals are all the same as last time. So this run-through, which is, I guess, six different expeditions... Uh, we have the same rivals for this whole campaign. So I guess a campaign is six, at least in the normal way to play. And we're definitely going to play at least all six campaigns if we can, if it, if it lets us continue, even if we lose. So, uh, we got an, some kind of achievement, complete 20... Oh no, I guess we got progress in that achievement. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I hurried to the harbor. The captain had yet to arrive, so I imagined what my visage would look like on the society statue. Sir Dyer uh, Ilimaid, who we talked to last time, returned to the harbor, eagerly awaiting news of his beloved. He was overjoyed as he saw her on our boat. Shortly after, the two fell into each other's arms in a loving embrace. The couple thanked me for their reunion before they happily absconded from the scene. So uh, I didn't realize, so Sir Dair Ilamaid is a wealthy foreigner. So he is actually from that village in South America that we went to uh, last episode. And I guess he became, he came to England somehow, you know, civilized himself and then sent us back to get his wife and made a lot of money, obviously in England also. Obtained reward. So it's nice that like you you go to the next mission to get the re for uh, some follow up for the previous one. Eighty funds. I was handed new funds as a token of my gratitude. A seasoned hunter politely asked me for my attention. Uh, he had heard about my trek and told me about a man eating hyena called Snarlfraddle. Snarfraddle. Snarfraddle. He despised the creature with all of his heart and wished proof of its death. A worthwhile purse would await me if I hunted it down and returned its pelt. Well. You know, we have a bunch of animals, including two dogs. I have a shotgun. I feel pretty well equipped to handle one hyena. Man-eating or no. We're going to accept. I feel like maybe when we started last time, we had no funds. Because we got funds for the statue that we sold. And we just got 80 funds for that. Uh, and this is our fame, I think. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our hunt. I was delighted to witness the boarding of our ship. Oh, we, maybe we got money for the jewels. not the. And then we got fame for the other statue. Or for the statue. I was delighted to witness the boarding of our ship had drawn quite a crowd. I was approached by several capable persons that were eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? Um, ooh. Uh, Kalik Ganim, the Bedouin. Bedouin monk, I guess. Um, three defense, three offense. Is that what that means? Toughness, eight. Um, I wish I could see our current folks. Uh, we have a translator here, a Persian translator. Uh, not very tough. So you have two like perception die and two cognitive die, maybe. I didn't real. I didn't never really realize these dice like the symbols on the dice might mean something, but clearly they do. Oh, good reputation. So we get a bonus to our standing bonus. So bonus to our village rest sanity. That's huge. But you were superstitious. That's not great. Uh, you reveal nearby oases. That's cool. Uh, you're a journalist. Uh, you have the same dice as the translator, but you're a little tougher. You have much better capacity, and you increase the gained fame for each expedition. Ooh, that's interesting for long term. And of course, we need to look at the loyalty, too. The translator is not as loyal. Ooh, okay. Tim Timster and Lewis. What does that mean, and Lewis? Who's Lewis? Okay, so... I feel like we actually have decent toughness because of our dogs, and I'm pretty sure animal person also has some toughness. I could be wrong about that. And we have a, our, our water buffalo, too. So I don't think we need... I feel like the extra fame that we get at the end of the expedition might be worth it. However, I don't know if we want to deal with more superstition, but the standing might be nice. And the rest sanity, honestly might be pretty huge. In fact, I'm thinking the sanity might be the way to go because we really had some sanity issues when we played before. 
Um, so despite you're being superstitious and you're not being quite as loyal. Oh, maybe we can hover over. Our, yeah, we can hover over our guys here. Oh, so you get Lewis if you get Tim Timster. Uh, oh, that's interesting. And Lewis does not use up character slots. Yeah, so our Huskies, I assume that those dice mean they do damage, and they have a ton of capacity. So we certainly don't need that. That's us. Uh, base sanity. Reduces base sanity. Oh, right, we got that as a reward, right? Um, cool. We have a bunch of dice. And then where is our animal trainer? Oh, there's our buffalo. Oh, so the buffalo just has capacity. That's really all it has. Um, where is... Ah, die map. There you are. So yeah, you do have some attack and defense. But you are also superstitious. Oh, that's right. And you became bipolar last time. But you also have, you also have good reputation. Yeah, you're kind of worrisome now. You're kind of worrisome. I kind of don't want another superstitious person. Plus, we already have someone giving us sanity. So I think I am going to go with Tim Timster. I don't think we need the attack and defense or the oases. So I'm going to go with the journalist. And it gives us another animal, and we have good animal handling stuff. We got another scouting dog, or a scouting dog. We have three dogs and a journalist. We could use the help of the dynamic duo and welcome them to our team. The captain informed me that our boat had reached maximum cabin capacity. I would need to dismiss someone if we wanted to set sail. Oh, no. And that includes our animals. Oh, dear. So, dying map. So, it's not a matter of animal capacity. It's just a matter of of boat capacity at this point. I don't know what our animal capacity is. So the water buffalo gives us just carrying capacity, but I don't know if we need that. If we have if we have Dye map, he gives all of our animals increased inventory size. So we really don't need Mr. Carter. We probably shouldn't have chosen Mr. Carter last time because all all the water buffalo gives us is capacity, which I don't think we need. So goodbye water buffalo. Yeah, I wish we could sell the water buffalo. Animal improvement. An expert saddle builder offered to help improve the carrying capacity of any of our animals. Ooh, I don't think we need that, actually. I'm not going to spend our fun. That they cost a lot, but we already have um, good capacity. All right, let's purchase equipment. We certainly don't need water. And this is our max capacity, I suppose. Yeah. So if I had the water buffalo, it would have maybe given us all of these slots. I don't know. I don't think that was a mistake. I don't think. Uh, we are going to the Arctic, and we only have one climbing gear left. I might buy a couple of these because we have funds. Uh, chocolate, extra bullets, but that does that include shotgun shells? I'm going to assume it does. I can see our new funds balance here. Dynamite. Passages through mountains. Now we have good cl we have climbing gear. I think I'd rather have the climbing gear. Torches. Ooh, torches. I'm spending all of our funds, but I feel like that's okay. Draw pictures. A machete. I don't think we're gonna need a machete where we're going. Um let's take one more rope. Because theoretically this stuff will stack and not take up more inventory. Uh, I'm going to get one more bullet. We're, we are spending funds, but I feel like that's okay. We've got a lot more climbing gear. I feel like we're good with seven snowshoes. Um, although they're really cheap. Let's, let's just get it back up to 10. A shovel. Okay. And then, let's see. This might be all of our inventory, because that's new. That's new. That's new. So that would be all of our inventory space. We can probably just get rid of the water. Uh, can I sell the water? I don't know. I guess this is fine. I don't think we need the dynamite. What is this? A weather balloon. Oh, and a hunting rifle. Allows a special dice combo. I think we're fine with the shotgun. Value 80. And this is the same value. I assume these bullets can be used for any gun. Because it doesn't specify. All right. Oh, and maybe I should have sold the voodoo doll. It might come in handy. All right, let's set sail. 
We spent a bunch of funds, but we still have some funds. And I don't know if we can spend our funds where we're going at a village. We might not be able to. Okay, so I'm not touching anything here. I didn't touch anything. I think this is just the boat has to do this. And if I click somewhere, I think it'll speed along. Okay, we're in the Arctic. After too many salty days at sea, we reach the land of our imminent adventure. I knew this place held something special for us. Let's keep a low profile and quickly find what we came for. Thank you, Tim Timster. Uh, we don't need to refill water, certainly. Uh, access ship storage. We didn't access the ship storage last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. We really didn't need to do that. Uh, yeah, let's go. Begin. Okay. Uh, you have a plus? I can promote you. Oh, did I just promote you? Is that what happened? Oh, so that gives us even more fame. Level up to get the perk. I were Wait, did that happen? Yes. How do I how do I do that? You have a We have a bunch of stars. Do the stars mean anything? Can I level exploration points allow you to level up characters? So I think maybe when I promote I can also, I don't know. Oh, when you're a journalist level three, you get that perk. I see. And you will get more inventory size for all pack animals. And you, wait, for all pack animals. Are these, do these not count as pack animals? No, you have extra capacity, I think. Look at, yeah. Because when we looked at you individually, you only had two. And now that we're uh, exploring with die map, you have an extra capacity. Okay. That makes me feel better. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's go. Um, can we see anything? Ah, pull. Oh, my um, my Google Home just said something. He must have heard me say something. Oh, yeah, I changed the voice so that it's a he. Uh, sometimes he thinks that I say something I don't. So I guess we need to try to get to that polar station, but... Um, that's way too far away. So let's just... Hmm. Yeah, let's go north a bit. Let's go up to here. I think that'll be fine. Travel. I guess we could have maybe sailed more? I don't know if that would have worked. All right, there's something here, and it looks like we can use our snowshoes here. Maybe we should have picked up more? But we have reduced, you know, even without the snowshoes, we have reduced movement in snow. I think, for being who we are, for being awesome. All right, let's go to whatever this is. What is this glowy thing? All right, it's a shrine. Yeah, and this is one of the things that was in the circle when we chose this uh, exploration, this expedition, rather. What are these tickets? Oh, we were going to a polar station. I forgot about that. All right, I finally came through a haze of snow and saw a dark structure before us. The obsidian stones the shrine was made of were too big for any man to carry. I could sense visions of something large looming over the shrine just at the edge of my mind, just out of reach. The surface about the structure gave off heat. It was still possible to walk there, but the potential source of this heat was disconcerting. I mean, we have to enter. The whole place was bathed in sickly green light. Where was its source? My, this is pretty impressive. Uh, my mind was reeling in this room. I was not sure if what was before me was an altar stone or an impact crater of something that crashed here from above. Let's investigate the altar. Dogs, what do you think? I, want, I need to find that hyena, too. I don't know where to look. Oh, so a golden llama. A miniature of a llama made of pure gold. Can be traded in for fame after. And this, totem sticks. I don't think, I think I want the Golden Llama. Now, it might decrease our standing. Right now, our standing is one. Because last time, I didn't notice this when I played, but when I watched the episode back last time, when we took all the things from the altar, it definitely lowered our standing. Uh, I mean, we're going to take it. Okay. What a glorious day. Yeah, minus three standing. Yeah, now he's got a frowny face. Not great. The treasure is ours to the taking. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We fled as fast as we could as the shrine was swallowed before our very eyes, and a volcano began to rise, spitting fire and oozing lava. Oh! That is cool! I don't know how we're going to get through this now, but that was super cool. 
Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. The... Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Because there was something up here that was glowing, and now I can't go there. Whoa, that's a lot of sanity. How do I get around this? I guess I've got to go south. Although, I don't know. Can I climb the volcano? If I go up to one of the volcano things, can I climb over it? Right, I'm going to go down to here. If that, I mean, it's 50 sanity, but I don't know what else to do, really. And hope that there's, in the undiscovered place... Because, look, even if I can climb a volcano, I'm going to have to climb multiple to get over. What is this? Ma magnetic mountain. Dang. Dang. Um. Yeah, this is not great. All right, let's go down here. Um, what? Cancel. I'm in the fire? Oh, it's burning down forest. One item slots overburdened. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> well, can I drop some of this? All right, there we go. Fine. All right, uh, we have, like, no sanity. I guess... I don't know what to do about that either. Um, wait, I can get sanity with... Oh, I meant to buy more chocolate. And I didn't. Well, we eat what we have. I should have eaten that instead of the, the, the water. Um, instead of drop the water. Oh, okay, we can go over this. Now, I guess that's a 40% chance of something terrible happening. We need to get to the polar station. Um, I guess we go here, and that's all of the sanity. Uh, maybe we go onto the snow here for just one extra. I don't know what else to do. Ouch. Yeah, uh, we're getting burned, and that's hurting our sanity. Oh, good. Okay, well, some time ago I conversed with Tim Timster about the to the civilized about the the civilized world and its abundance of advantages. I'm unsure if it was a good idea since he seems to have become obsessed with this topic. Oh no. You've kleptomania. Tim Timster got kleptomania. Okay. So we have no sanity. We have no way to get sanity right now, I don't think. But 0% chance. I think 0% means nothing bad will happen. Uh, no, for, because of our sanity. No bad sanity things. Man, this is going all over the place. I just wanted to get to the polar station. Okay. Let's enter this village. We have no sanity right now. Today we reached a village. The natives were suspicious of our arrival. Yeah, standing minus two. It seems wise to put them at ease with some gifts. I agree. Ooh. You have nice things. What would you want? Maybe I'll give you the voodoo doll. Uh, you don't value that. Is there anything that you value extra? <gasps> Snowshoes you value. A lot. A whole lot. Anything? Yeah, so jewels. Oh, I wish I had more to sell you. I should have used all of our... I think I'm understanding that I should have used all of our funds. Made of trinket. I want those jewels. Oh man, I really shouldn't get rid of it because we need these. What do we have? A value, not much. Maybe I'll give you a torch. Yeah, I'll give you this. Because these are gonna be great. These are going to give us a lot more funds at the end of the day. Ooh, a spear. Uh, that's cool. 
Um, I do want that other jewels. The jewels are pretty a pretty big deal. Um, take some climbing gear. Oh yeah, climbing gear. Okay. Um, I guess I could take the water. Because what else do you have that's worth only... Uh, maybe I don't... Uh, what's not worth much that you have? I mean, we have 20. Um, rope is two. Nope. Um, all right, I guess give me the water just for an even tree. No, you know what? I'll just... I'll just let you have a little bonus. Deal. They accept our offerings and welcomed us wholeheartedly. The standing is still minus two. Um, the village, uh, yes. The villagers welcomed us with smiles on their faces. Our reputation seemed to be very positive in the region, despite our low standing. The villagers had been awaiting us. They already seemed aware of us. They were cautious, but politely offered their help. Perhaps to see us leave sooner. Uh, well, we already traded. Let's see if we can recruit anyone. Nope. No one wants to join us, which is understandable. We don't have the room anyway. Let's rest. We really need to rest. They're celebrating a wedding. The ritual was quite intricate and fascinating. The couple seemed quite tense to my eyes. All the men participated in a ritualistic hunt, and the bride chose the most skillful. Oh, interesting. We got a lot more sanity, less sta even less standing for some reason, and uh, we've a day passed. We might need to rest a few days. My undergarments shocked the natives. We could not shake off the feeling that we had that we had stressed the hospitality of the villagers more than we should have. The wedding ritual was still ongoing. The villagers seemed lost in thought and prayer. Leaving the village now would be considered a great offense. Well then, I guess we do need to if we're if we're going to offend them by leaving and we need more sanity. The natives were willing to let us take shelter in their village. However, they demanded compensation because of our disrepute. But it would be offensive to you to leave. Whoa. <sighs> I don't know. All right. I don't need a torch. Who needs a torch? There you go. Uh, yeah, we'll take your beverage. We need higher standing. Great. And, and it helped us gain more sanity, too. It tasted of sweet berries, and we stayed up long into the night drinking and laughing with the villagers. Great. Excellent. Somehow we look... The following morning, I woke to a, f a face of a crowd of natives that seemed my snoring amused them. It was obvious that we had stressed the hospitality. The ritual is still ongoing. And leaving now would be considered a great offense. What am I supposed to do? Just leave. I don't know what else to do. We're, they're going to be mad at us no matter what. Wait, what? Followed. I told the men to pack up and head it out as new adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. They seemed agitated, really. The villagers did not like us leaving in the middle of the ceremony, but you also didn't like us staying. It was considered a bad omen for the two lovers. The villagers were glad to see the back of me. <laughs> well, what What do you want? The following days, I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Yeah, so I guess we're being followed, which is disconcerting. What is this? You feel followed. We have an exploration point. So I can level up a character. Oh, promote one to two, promote one to two. Okay. All right. Now we have a bunch of sanity. Let's get to the polar station. Now I know we probably need to go north. Pack ice. But I really, we have all these tickets and I want to see what we can get here. It's only 25, although that's all of our snowshoes, isn't it? But I, I really feel like we should go to the polar station. And this is still pretty... I don't know. It's, it is saying go the opposite direction. But this, I think this is important. And we still need to find the hyena. Maybe it's over here. Oh, now it's saying west. So who knows? It says as, as we get closer to it, it's supposed to be more accurate. So we'll see. All right, let's visit this station. I was expecting a bigger group operating this station, but it was only this haggard man. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. He told me he had spent many winters here alone. I wondered what whatever happened to him, but maybe it was best not to ask. We can rest. We can use a dog sled. Trade access storage room. Well, we can certainly rest here. Let's access the storage room first. 
loot. You have nothing. Yes. Um, trade? So you have tickets, but we don't need those. We already have them. You also have snowshoes. Uh, do these have value to you? No. I feel like we will... A flare gun. Ooh, and it's cheap from you. What else is cheap from you? That's it. All right. Uh, what can we sell you? We still have all this climbing gear I guess we could sell you. And the shovel. I f so you, we're not using the climbing gear. So how about that? And then I'm going to... I'll keep one flare, and the rest will buy in snowshoes. Ah. Ah. Um, oh, chocolate. Um, first aid kit. That could be useful. But it's expensive. The snowshoes are going to be important, I think. It's going to be worthwhile. We might as well buy a water. Okay. Use dog sled. Yeah, I have tickets. Travel to station B-34. Sure. Wait, let's rest first. Uh, okay, the man became agitated and punched a wall. His hands reminded me more of claws than anything human. But he quickly composed himself again. All right, let's rest and give him tickets. Because we definitely need more sanity before we leave. And they had water for us. Great. Now let's use the dog sled. Yes. Travel. I don't know where Station 34B is, but that's where we're going. Wow. Man, that volcano. Oh, is that the hyena? Did I see it there? That was really far away. Wait. I don't know. Don't know where the hyena is. Um, I saw something. Uh, something down here, but I can't see it now. All right. So here we are at this polar station. We barely lost any sanity. And this is saying go west. Um, is there anything in this storage room? Nope. All right. Let's leave. Let's just go. Magnetic Mountain. I guess we'll go west. Grasslands here. Travel days. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of sanity to get there. We Let's... Wow, this is taking a lot of sanity. Why? Why is it taking so much sanity? We have things. Why does it take so much sanity to travel? Is it because of traits we have? I don't know. What are we supposed to do? All right, let's just... Let's go over here. Travel. I think it's going over the ice that's taking most of it. And that ice disappears once we travel over it. So we're next to this mountain now. I don't think that actually does anything or give us anything. Now we, it wants us to go southwest. This is an Arctic wolf, not the hyena. Wow, I can't believe all, like we, all of the sanity we had is gone. And we have nothing really... Why is there a line through this? We can just use this to dig? Hmm, interesting. Deep snow here. I, I guess we go down. I mean, we're go we, there's nothing we can do about the sanity. Let's just go over here. It looks like there could be something, right? It looks like there's something there, but just as deep snow. And there's something here. Oh, and now it wants us to go north. It's the magnetic mountain. Right? Does that affect our compass? I bet it does. I bet it's pointing at the mountain. Let's go here, because there, if there's something there, we need to rest. 100%. Does that mean we are definitely going crazy if we go there? I mean, the, like, anywhere we go, we're in trouble. So, what are you going to do? Here we go. Travel. 
And we might have to face this Arctic wolf. Um, oh, okay. Anxiety was becoming a burden for the trek. Oh, we lost some things. Uh, Dying Map told us that he had been so nervous that he dropped something during the previous leg. So we lost our shovel, we lost our flare, and some, and a ticket. Okay. That's too bad. Let's keep going. Okay, we are not near the wolf anymore, so that's good. And we can we are somewhere we can explore and theoretically get more sanity. Although what? It's still pointing to the north. I don't I don't know. I arrived at a stockpile of sorts. The owners must be out hunting. Examine. Oh. Now, this would lower our standing even more if we took these things. I'm pretty sure. Water drain. I don't really think we need either of these things. Too. Although this thing, if we give it to someone, helps our standing. Plus, if we take it, no one knows, right? No one will know if we take these things. Take all. Nope, they did. They found out. <laughs> and warriors have appeared, con confronted us somewhat intimidatingly. They have been following me. Oh, they're they're following me from the other village. How did they follow me from the dog with the dog sleds that we took? The leader was clearly upset about my actions and demanded I pay tribute. If I deny tribute, I will be fighting them. I think I gotta deny and see what happens. All right, we rolled some dice there. I don't know what they meant. I managed to somehow placate them and make peace. Finally, they allowed me to leave. Great, excellent. Uh, oh, but I can't sleep here. Sleeping is not an option to get sanity. You are 52 days to arrive. It still says to go north, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go this way. Actually, let's go, just go, stop. Let's go here. Still looking for that hyena. Hopefully it wasn't, oh, there's nothing over here. All right, I guess we're going north. Oh, we need climbing gear for that. Let's go over here. Okay. Someone was missing this morning. I counted heads and saw Diamap crouching over the remains of a corpse. <laughs> His hands and face covered in blood. He held onto something that looked like a bone. I could not believe my eyes as I realized that Tim Timster had been killed and devoured. Die map is now a cannibal. Cannibal. Eats human flesh. I feel like maybe at this point I should dismiss Die map. However, <laughs> we still have all these animals and he is an animal handler. <laughs> this is not going well. This is not going well at all. All right, let's climb this. Let's get up. Let's let's get up here. Let's get let's get over here. How about that? Travel. Two item slots overburdened. Oh right, because we lost. <gasps> Yay! You know, we still haven't found the hyena, which stinks. But I, I we can't find that. This is going so badly. We have to leave. Like we have to leave. We have to get out of here. We can't worry about finding that hyena. We can't backtrack. First of all, these guys are going to win if we do, and we have no sanity. We have a, our cannibal ate our journalist, which means we don't get that big fame bonus at the end of this, which stinks. But lessons learned. And, but most importantly, we're still going to win. We're going to enter this pyramid, and our name is now respected within the community of intrepid adventurers. More adventures away. We still won. We still beat all of our rivals. That's the important thing. Okay. New world bonus, 50. I don't know. Maybe because we never explored the Arctic before. We got first. So I guess you still get a bonus even if you don't finish first. 800 fame. Let's see the map here. Um, oh. So I was hoping it would show us where the hyena was, but what are you going to do? Finish. Bravo. Triumph. Excellent. Oh, so now we get another perk. So last time we got a perk for less sanity loss for traveling, although that... Man, that was hard. Charismatic. Recruit up to two units per expedition. Interesting. Uh, we already have a bunch of animals. Strong mind. Max sanity plus 20. Adept receives an additional support die. Oh. 
Maybe these animals aren't the way to go. I like the carrying capacity, although I probably should have just kept the water buffalo. Uh, the max sanity sounds nice, although really we just need to use... Like, like that's only a 20% boost to our max sanity, and we're not going to regain... There's no... You don't gain sanity in a percentage. You gain it by a quantity. So that's not that great. I think I just like the idea of being charismatic, and this could come in handy in the future for sure. The, do the dog deserves its own medal, he said. So I'm going to pick charismatic. Yep, I know. It was a great choice. You're welcome. Boom. Uh, so there's Isabella. She was beat by Ada Lovelace this time, and Harriet Tubman is still not doing well. Mary Kingsley's not doing well, but oh, Rolda Munson is awesome. 800. Oh, so now we have all of these jewels, and I think we're going to sell all of them, but then we're going to give the Golden Llama up for fame. Yes. Value. Uh, so sell all the jewels. And gift this. Excellent. Okay. Cool. And let's take a sneak peek on uh, to what's next. Uh, so next time, we have three choices for next time. Um, the Unforgiving Drylands, the Cursed Jungle, or the Guajaja Desert. So our Arctic stuff certainly doesn't come in handy for any of those. Loveless is exploring the monster's Arctic. Oh, maybe you like take, maybe you kind of roll initiative to see who's going to explore what. Maybe at some point, like, we're going to be last to pick and we won't have a choice. I don't know. Um, but anyway... We're going to save it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to leave comments and let me know what you thought. Um, I really enjoyed playing with you today, and I look forward to playing this again with you next time. Bye, everybody.